I think y'all understand how bad it is in the southeast right now. We have towns that don't exist anymore. Chimney Rock is is gone. The city of Asheville is cut off from the world. This this is not an exaggeration. All the bridges leading into the city have been washed away. They have no food, no power, no water, no internet, no cell service. They don't even have radio. It's a com it's a complete like dead zone. Uh, no one knows what's going on in there. I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say that this is a Hurricane Katrina level event. Uh, there was a woman in my town who called for an ambulance and the ambulance got stranded and they were stranded for like 24 hours and to my knowledge the patient didn't make it Pe people are dying uh they're still dying i've been running the generator for the last three days and we're starting to run out of gas and this is on highway 123 heading from easley to uh to greenville and this was a one mile long line to get gas because they were the only people we knew around that had gas left i got all the way to the end and they were out they had no gas we checked every gas station in pickens and easley and in liberty nothing and I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of gas, i tell you that much. Try to steal some from my car maybe to keep my food cold, but even then, I don't know. This is the I-40 bridge, you know, from Tennessee to North Carolina. It's 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 gone. It don't exist no more either. Well, um, we have people dying out here. Man. It's rolling around the bed. And I ain't the sunshine. <laughs> Now that was crazy. I hope that everybody involved finds some type of comfort, some type of relief. If you're looking to the government to help you, you can forget it. Like Kamala Harris says, she got $750 for you guys, which is sad when you're giving away billions of dollars to other countries and you can't even help your own in tragedies like this. Now, I know the Lord can do things. He destroyed this place before by flood, as, as this verse says here. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one which has a tempest of hail and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. But in this case, I don't believe the Lord did this. Now, the Lord is in charge. The Lord controls everything. He allows Satan to rule this planet until the time when the Lord returns and destroys him and put him away. But this I believe was caused by harp. You know, they were talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College. I find it strange that on the anniversary of JFK weather warfare speech in September 25th, 1961, that we have a hurricane running through some of the southern states. 52 years ago today, U.S. President John F. Kennedy announced at the 1961 United Nations General Assembly a proposition to implement schemes that could effectively predict and control global weather patterns. So as I look more into this stuff, I come across this photo here. It says I-40 will be closed until September 2025 
and I-26 will be closed until March 2025. So it got me thinking, like, if they were trying to do something by weather warfare, what could they be trying to look for in that area? And I came across this. Supposedly, in North Carolina, there's a majority of lithium that can be found. And in my opinion, in that area where the flood hit, that's probably a big minefield of lithium. How do you get to mine an area like that without any interference? Get the people out. So yeah, these people are wicked. I believe that this is what's going on. Like I said, the Lord could do whatever he wants. He could destroy places with weathers and storms. It's nothing to him to do that because the people are wicked. But woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields. Listen to this. And they covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. The Bible already told us that they'll be doing this stuff. They take it by violence. Like I told y'all, the thing that happened in Hawaii about at the beginning of the year, I believe, or last year, they took those people's homes by violence. They got an agenda that they want to push, and they're going to push it one way or another. Now, when it comes to the Lord, well, you have comfort in the Lord. If you study and read his words, you know, none of this stuff matters. All this material things, money, houses. I know it sucks not to have one, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because all this stuff is going to burn up one day. And if you're not right with the Lord, I mean, where are you going to end up? You're going to end up in the lake of fire and hell. But if you got the Lord with you while you living and you know his words and you know what's coming down, there's nothing to worry about. And hopefully everyone affected will get relief and hopefully they'll turn to the Lord.